I probably had reasons to lash out, to, uh, to do the dirty deed. But Kerry Winter says he is innocent. What's more, he's making an extraordinary accusation against Barry Sherman. The Fifth Estate's Bob McEwen spoke with Winter and put his claim to the test. He works as a construction site supervisor, a far cry from the wealth and power his billionaire cousin Barry Sherman enjoyed. And Kerry Winter is bitter. He cared about one thing, money, making lots of it, and not caring who he destroyed, who he stepped on. Bitter, because Kerry Winter and his three brothers claim Sherman took over their father's drug company, costing them a financial share worth hundreds of millions. Winter and his siblings sued, seeking a piece of the Apotex fortune. But last September, an Ontario Superior Court judge dismissed the case as wishful thinking. The Winters are appealing, but Kerry Winter has been ordered to pay Sherman back $8 million in promissory notes he signed over the years. I was betrayed. My cousin hurt me, and now I want to hurt him. Police have determined Barry and Honey Sherman were both victims of a targeted homicide. But now Kerry Winter insists, without evidence, that Barry could have killed his wife. Because Winter claims in the late 1990s, Barry Sherman asked him to arrange a contract hit on her. There was a time in his office that he turned to me and he said, Kerry, I want you to do me a favor. And I said, what's that, Barry? He said, I want you to whack my wife. And I said, come on, Barry. You want me to kill your wife? He goes, I didn't say you. You know some people. Could you arrange that for me? What do you believe members of the family and their legal representatives yes. will say about this? I think they would say that he's uh, possibly lying. He's trying to uh, drag Barry's good name through the mud. He's got a hidden agenda. Um, he's got a vendetta. He's being spiteful, vengeful. His claim is unsubstantiated. So we put Carrie Winter through a three-hour lie detector test, administered by John Gallianos, a former Quebec homicide investigator and a veteran polygraph examiner. While not admissible in court, polygraphs are commonly used by police officers to determine truthfulness. Are you lying when you say that Barry Sherman told you that he wanted his wife killed? No. Carrie Winter failed. There's something that you're hiding in. There's so something I failed. That, yeah, you failed. Yeah, you failed. Winter seemed shaken. All of which begs another question. Could Carrie Winter have murdered the man he readily admits he hated so much? I probably had reasons to lash out, to, uh, to do the dirty deed. This would be asked of you by anybody. Did you kill Honey and Barry Sherman? Absolutely not. I had nothing to do with it. I don't know who did it. Toronto police have asked him to come in for an interview. Winter says they told him he is not a suspect and that there is no evidence he is. And Bob McEwen is in our Toronto studio. Lots of questions I could ask you, but let me start with one I'm sure everybody has right now. Why did he talk to you? Ian, this is a man, as you saw, driven by the need for revenge against Barry Sherman, who he feels stole his birthright. He, he made very clear he hates Barry Sherman. He made clear that he was willing to murder Barry Sherman's wife, Honey. And he made clear that he, he, he would like nothing better than to see Barry Sherman dead, though he denied any part in the murder. In your piece, you say he's not a suspect. Why not? Yeah, you know, he asked that question. He said, if I'm not a suspect, who is? <laughs> uh, there have been over 127 witness statements given to the Toronto Police Service on this. He apparently has not yet been one of them, though when we left him last night, he said he was on his way to police headquarters to be interviewed today. Uh, but he said the same thing the two previous days. So I have, have no way of knowing if he's finally talked to them or not. Well, it is fascinating. Thank you very much, Bob. Thanks, Ian.